Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, depending on where you are. Um, we're going to give folks a few more minutes to, um, maybe probably one more minute, to actually uh, join the webinar today. Um, I'd like to thank you all for joining us. I know uh, this was a reschedule, so uh, thank you again for uh, logging on today. If you have any questions, feel free to type them into the question box. Um, if, you, if we have time, we will try to take a few. If we don't, um, depending on the question, someone from either organization will follow up with you. Um, so like I said, one more minute and then uh, I'll leave it to Antonio. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, Tiffany. And, and thanks everybody for uh, joining today for the reschedule. Um, we, we welcome everyone to our webinar on achieving simulation goals with Total C High Performance Computing uh, Solutions for Converge. Today we're going to learn about how Isuzu reduced their simulation runtime by 10x with High Performance Computing Solutions. We're going to learn a little bit about our Total C platform, our web portal, scheduling software, and, and more, our management services, and how that enabled Isuzu to reduce their runtime. We're also going to listen to Yang Sung and Isuzu uh, uh, discuss how they use the Total C platform currently and the types of converged simulations that they're doing today. Finally, as uh, Tiffany mentioned, there's going to be some time at the end for some questions, and we'll follow up if, uh, if uh, each organization will follow up if there's uh, uh, more questions uh, at the end. Um, Total C provides a turnkey, fully managed, high-performance computing solution uh, for Converge uh, for the Converge appliance. We're dedicated to managing the on-premise and the cloud HPC environments, and the main goal is to reduce your simulation runtimes. Our solution enables users to move from workstations to HPC clusters to solve more complex simulations in a shorter amount of time. Many of those complex simulations can't be solved today in your local workstations, or they may take too long to complete. Customers come to us with a couple goals, and one of them is to eliminate the engineering IT barriers, which allows them, the engineering departments, to focus on propelling uh, them to, to market faster and gives them the ability to impact design decisions uh, more quickly. Everything that you need to run Converge is included in our Total CA platform from the actual tools, the web portal and scheduling software, to the Converge software license management, and all of the management of the entire solution. Total CE is your single throat to choke for all engineering HPC needs. If you visit our website at totalce.com slash converge, you can actually watch a short video that shows how easy it is to uh, submit to our web portal and to submit co Converge jobs on the cluster. As the single throat to choke, Total C draws a line around our, the entire converged cloud and on-premise clusters and everything between cl clicking the button to start the simulation to getting your results back is entirely Total C's responsibility. We'll dive in a little bit in the portal. So this is the Total C portal that allows the engineers to submit jobs with just two clicks. Uh, it's very easy, you just select your model, push the button to solve. This is the interface that is, that is currently being utilized by Isuzu, a uh, very similar uh, interface. Uh, it's an easy to, easy to use GUI. It lets you select a converged version, submit a job, monitor the progress, and evaluate the results. Each new version that, that's released is automatically installed in the portal by a member of our Total CE support team. With the Total CE portal, you no longer have to worry about managing your, your licenses. Converge won't run unless there's licensing available, and the Total C portal automatically calculates the license requirements. The jobs will stay in the scheduling queue until they're able to obtain a license and then are released to, to run on the cluster. The Total C portal also eliminates the need to know uh, very complicated Linux or batch commands. Uh, all the interaction with the appliance is through the simple to use web browser, again, two clicks to solve the submit jobs. For the power engineers, the power users that uh, enjoy the command line and want the full power of the command line, we also make that available. We don't lock any users into submitting uh, only via one uh, via our portal. This is our public cloud interface. As you'll see, the same Total C web portal is, is the interface that drives our turnkey fully managed cloud platform. Our public 
or portal acts as a single pane of glass to submit on-premise and cloud clusters, and it greatly minimizes the user learning curve. We again take complete ownership to set up and manage the entire public cloud solution and the environment for our customers. Our cloud platform enables a vast amount of resources that can be utilized when the on-premise resources are tied up and, and a burst to cloud scenarios. Our total Viz solution enables working remotely to take advantage of central engineering resources as if they were on site. They can interact with Converge in real time, again, using our simple web browser interface for both on-premise and for the cloud computing solutions. As you'll see in the slide, it uh, shows Converge Studio being launched through our total Viz solution by a remote user. Engineers can view the results immediately after job completion and then they can make this determinations on if they want to download the results uh, back locally or, or not. Remote users can be more productive by eliminating some of the challenges, like transferring large data over slow internet connections. And this is done by only moving the pixels back and forth of the images uh, to the users and, and not moving the actual data. The Total C Analyzer package that's shown here is the perfect tool to evaluate your HPC cluster. Total C Analyzer allows you to, to view real-time memory, CPU, licensing, and overall cluster utilization. You can view the data on individual users and pending workloads and the size of average jobs. And it helps management teams uh, answer historical cluster data and, and uh, to justify an increase in resources uh, such as, is my cluster being utilized efficiently? Do I need to add more licensing? Or do I need to add more compute capacity? Those are critical questions that, that uh, management teams are looking to answer um, uh, every day. In fact, the Suzu is currently utilizing our analyzer package to determine if an increase in licensing and compute power is needed to meet their simulation demands. Our entire Total C Converge platform shown in the previous slides sits on top of our validated hardware, which is also provided and fully managed by Total CAE. We follow many best practices when architecting HPC solutions, including providing adequate number of cores per cell, utilizing open MPI, uh, recommending the latest uh, high clock rate Intel Skylake processors, uh, SSDs for IO requirements, and reviewing memory configurations to customize our turnkey offering for your specific converged models. Converge Superbase licensing also allows you to utilize as many cores as possible, which truly unlocks the power of HPC. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Yang Song from Isuzu, and he'll expand on how uh, on how they they use their Total C Turnkey solution and how that's empowered them to solve Converge models that they could have never solved before, and how it's reduced their simulations uh, some simulations by 10x. Uh, hi everybody, uh, this is Yang from Isuzu. Um, I'm working as a senior engineer here. Um, so first, I want to introduce how we use um, the Total C on-site cluster for our um, projects. So majorly, we have this four usage um, of the CAP simulation. Uh, first is the combustion simulation um, for majorly for design and uh, calibration. So we do the simulation for diesel, on CNG and gasoline. Like even for diesel, which we don't, don't have those um, cycle to cycle variations that much, we still need to do like two to three cycles, which will take us uh, two to three days with even 46 um, processors. Um, and because a lot of the times we have uh, like deadline for different projects and uh, we have to evaluate many um, design options and also calibration uh, options. Uh, for example, the in inject injection strategy and such. Um, so that's why uh, we find that uh, reducing the simulation time is really important for us. And uh, uh, the second uh, major usage is the uh, after treatment evaluation. Um, so at Isuzu, we used uh, uh, this systematic five steps um, evaluation procedure for different uh, designs uh, in CFD simulation. Uh, for this part, I will um, 
two sets to the, today's example, uh, which I will show uh, later um, slides. And also, we are going to have a, a talk in this year's SAE World Congress uh, on the same topic, but with uh, actually more results and more technical details on that specific topic. Um, so, and the third uh, major usage will be the component evaluation because inside the engine, um, we have a lot of 3D effects um, like the air pass, uh, pressure drop um, evaluation, the water jacket, um, the EGR valve, um, the intake manifold uh, mixing. Those ones cannot be evaluated by 1Ds. We have to do that uh, in, in 3D. Um, and uh, also for uh, the providing boundary condition and initial, initialization for the 1D code simulation. And even for the 1D, we use the total CE um, cluster because for 1D, we used it for the transient, um, the optimization, and for long duration. Um, it, especially for the op optimization, it uh, needs to run hundreds of cases. Uh, um, and uh, we run it in parallel to shorten uh, the time needed. Um, so the plot showing over here in the above actually shows some actual usage um, of the, the cluster we have. Um, so you can notice there will be some ups and down, um, high usage and no usage, no usage. So major two reasons for those is one is um, the project sometimes coming uh, at one time and sometimes um, um, we are a little bit low on the uh, workload. And the second major reason is about the licensing um, because uh, we originally have this one super licensing so we can run as many uh, processors as, uh, as possible. But uh, sometimes for like, uh, for example, water jacket or air pass evaluation, we do not need that many um, processors. We only need like four or eight. So we discussed with to uh, CAE and together with Converge, and Converge actually is um, uh, very flexible about providing the, the license option. So they, um, besides the super licensing, they provide us um, uh, small license, licensing, like uh, eight core um, licensing. So we can use that eight um, core small license, license to test around cases and for small cases, uh, which we actually see an increase of utilization of uh, the cluster overall. Um, so the example I choose to explain um, why um, this uh, sh supercomputing is necessary, uh, it's this after treatment case um, that I mentioned. So we have this five uh, steps uh, to do the evaluation. So the first step is actually just to evaluate the uh, exhaust flow oiling to exam, examine all the possible uh, stagnation error. For this part, I think um, most of the laptop even can, can do it um, with four cores or 16 cores today, um, but it will take some time, um, maybe four to four hours to six hours. Um, but when it comes to the second step, which we want to do detailed spray evaluation. Um, um, the purpose of doing a spray evaluation is to evaluate the mixing of the spray with the exhaust flow and also how the spray is impingement on the wall. So in order to provide that, we have to include the conjugate heat transfer to simulate the solid temperature um, in the simulation. So um, even with desktop today, it will run for two or three days with conjugate heat transfer with a spray for, for one case. Um, so it's a little bit stretching for desktop um, uh, simulation. Um, um, and the, when it comes to the step four, um, which we want to evaluate um, the liquid wall film on the um, wall, then it will introduce
introducing a, another complexity is that you are not only simulating the gas phase but also the liquid phase. So it will further increase the computational uh, cost. Um, so for us, even with um, like we have uh, on-site 128 processors. Um, for after treatment study, we pretty much utilize uh, most of them, like up up to 128 and sometimes uh, 112 processors. And uh, with that kind of um, uh, computational um, capacity, we still need like in total two weeks to um, to go through the all four um, steps. And uh, for the fifth step, um, we adding the detailed decomposition uh, mecha mechanism into it. So we are talking about detailed chemistry. We are talking about liquid, um, gas, different phases. We are talking about uh, uh, the detailed display, um, and uh, also tracking of those um, where the particle goes. So um, for this one. I, I think that without a large cluster, um, um, it will not be possible because even with the cluster on site, it will take uh, like uh, a week for us to uh, run seconds of real time simulation for, for this step. But this step is critical because uh, uh, when we go through these four steps, we find out that uh, some uh, important places, the euro deposits, actually cannot uh, be predicted by the four, uh, first four steps up to the uh, film-based uh, uh, analysis. Uh, for example, for uh, the Euro deposit uh, near the injector and uh, just in front of the, um, uh, just in front of the SCR part, um, but with the detailed decomposition method, we actually can see that those places uh, are actually being um, predicted and uh, warning, give us warning that there will be risk uh, for for these things to happen. Because uh, when we have this uh, prediction, then this phenomena, uh, for phenomena can actually lead into more severe um, uh, durability problem, including corrosion and such. Um, so that's why we're finding it is necessary to go for the uh, fifth step. Um, so, following slides, I will have my colleague uh, uh, Sarah Sharma to um, continue the discussion uh, of uh, the the case and the memory usage or uh, computer power usage. Thank you, Yong. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Saurabh Sharma, and I work as a model-based engineer at here at Isuzu. And so, I'll be discussing about this after-treatment case, which Yong has presented over here. So uh, on this slide, as Yong mentioned, that uh, we are using the two uh, approaches to analyze the URA deposit. So the one is with the wall film prediction to ev evaluate the risk uh, analysis, and the second is through the detailed decomposition for going into the more detailed chemistry for the formation of the byproducts such as pureed, CYN, amylide. So, uh, with respect to the memory usage and the number of cells you in need to solve these cases, you, you need to understand that with the introduction of the detailed chemistry, we increase number of cells and uh, on the uh, core we, which we are using, and therefore it uh, requires higher wall time, and it uh, requ requires more core to solve the issue. So therefore, um, in order uh, to have the better prediction for the urea deposit, we need uh, both the wall film and the detailed decomposition. And to uh, manage these two situations, we need to have the flexible flexibility in choosing the number of cores, which is being provided by total CAE. And uh, over here, the, the results are shown for the wall film uh, prediction. So you can see on the uh, left side that uh, with the deposit indicator, you can uh, we can show that the with the help of the uh, wall film being produced over here on the right side, at the temperature of uh, around 450 
uh, Kelvin, you, you will see the crystallization form, uh, formation of urea. In, uh, we saw it in our um, test uh, data, and we are able to indicate it with the deposit risk in, uh, deposit indicator. And this is uh, without the chemistry. So um, it will require less number of cores to solve, um, solve the uh, problem. But when you go for the detailed decomposition, you will have the additional chemistry uh, included in that and which will incre increase the demand in the number of cores. And uh, over here, uh, for the solving the detailed uh, chemistry, we are, as Yong mentioned, we are using 112 cores out of 128. And uh, there is a reason behind that why we are fixing uh, a particular number for that. Because if you see on the uh, right side of the graph, which is showing the cell count, you can see that the cell count is uh, consistently varying between 16 to uh, 20K, which is uh, which we found a uh, very um, good range of distribution for the cells uh, on the course. It will, op it will optimize uh, the working uh, and the optimize uh, the runtime also. And uh, similarly, uh, in the similar case, we, uh, we also uh, saw that the memory usage is pretty consistent when we are using 112 cores. So um, in order to explain that why we need to have a good number of cores, we, are, uh, we did the case study with a different number of cores and in this presentation, I'm showing with uh, the comparison with the eight cores. And on the right side, you can see that uh, with using only eight cores, which you can also do on your workstation, we, we are increasing the cell counts from uh, 20K to uh, around 475K, which is a huge increment in the number of cells uh, on one single core. And this uh, also leads to the uh, non-uniform distribution of the memory usage on the core, and it leads to your higher uh, runtime. And therefore, when we uh, did the analysis on the runtime for both the cases, we saw a more than 10 times of uh, decrement in the runtime when we used 112 cores instead of eight cores, which is shown over here in the figure at the bottom. So the blue uh, line over here is showing uh, the wall time for the eight cores, and uh, for the red one is showing for the 112 cores. And you can see that there is a huge decrement in the wall time and even uh, less fluctuation between the, uh, between the intervals. And this uh, leads with the another argument that um, as Young mentioned in the starting of this presentation, we have different CFD simulations going on over here at the Isuzu, like uh, the uh, air, path, air flow path analysis for the air induction system and the water jacket simulation and uh, in cylinder combustion simulation for the diesel, CNG, and gasoline, and also for the urea deposit risk analysis. So uh, for each cases, you don't have uh, a consistent or or the same number of cells we are using. So you, um, in different simulation, depending on the complexity of the case, you use different cell counts. And, and you cannot use the same number of cores for all the same count, uh, all the same uh, cell counts. Because as I showed previously, like if there is a need of 112 cores and you use only eight cores, your wall time will increase up to 10 times or 20 times. So you need to have the flexibility in choosing the number of cores to optimize your runtime, which is a good, so uh, and Total CAE and Converge provided a good, good solution for that by uh, providing a flexibility in choosing the number of cores and flexibility in the license. So for example, in the air path flow analysis, we are using around eight, uh, 800 uh, K cells. So, or even below that, we can go up to 500 K cells 
So you can use the less number of cores, like for example, eight cores, and you can use the uh, small licenses license for that and use the super license, which has unlimited number of cores, and you can use it for uh, the urea deposit analysis at the same time. So at the same time, you are uh, running two um, cases, which also help with meeting the project deadlines and optimizing your cluster usage. And therefore, for different uh, cases, we are using different uh, number of cores. And also, it is it was possible because of the converge uh, by uh, providing different licenses and the flexibility on choosing number of cores. Excellent. Well, well, thank you, gentlemen. That was that was great. I think uh, uh, being able to see um, how you're using our platform, picking the number of cores, and how that impacts. Uh, the de the design of the, the runtime and, and meeting your deadlines is, is key. Uh, so thank you for for that sharing those examples. We we appreciate that. Um, and especially going from 10x, I mean that's that's excellent. Reducing those runtimes, moving you from workstations to clusters is is really our our main goal. Um, so you gave a great look at at how Total C can knock down those barriers, enable the users to to strictly focus on running and engineering and, and running converge. And you don't have to worry about installing, configuring, or integrating uh, HPC if Total C is your partner. So that that was excellent. Our pre-integrated appliance is, is ready to run jobs as soon as it's delivered as well. Uh, so our installation team configures all of the users, all the scheduling software workflows, uh, similar to what uh, uh, Isuzu just presented, and uh, and the entire appliance settings prior to delivery. Uh, Total C customizes the appliance for any size organization. So whether uh, from small engineering departments or to large centralized enterprise clusters and completely manages the HPC appliance around the clock. Well, thank you all for joining this webinar uh, to, to learn about Isuzu and how they're meeting their demands with high performance computing. If, you're, if you want to reduce your run times with a new solution or you need engineering IT support for your current high performance computing cluster, uh, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to, to help. And finally, if you're looking for a single throw to choke, and a partner that provides a turnkey converged solution, please email us at sales at totalce.com. And thanks again. I uh, will open up for, for questions. I'm not sure if there, uh, Tiffany, maybe if, if uh, there's any questions or. Uh, if maybe you have some, some things that come up often. Um, yeah, so I, I think, uh, you know, a lot of times, uh, and, and it was a, I think that's why the, the example is so great by Susan. A lot of times people are, are looking to optimize their cluster, right? So. How do we ensure that the, the cluster is optimized? Are we uh, utilizing it efficiently? Do we have enough licensing? So I know I, I uh, showed our, our tool, the analyzer tool helps you do that. Uh, but it's important too that things change, right? So so Isuzu's models or what they're solving today might be much different than what they solved uh, even last week or last year, and they'll be different from a couple of years from now. So Total C manages that uh, as an ongoing basis as well. So if um, tomorrow Isuzu adds 10 engineers, 10 users, and, and increases and maybe changes their workflow. Um, we uh, basically, as an ongoing uh, uh, service, and, and we proactively um, change and, and optimize that our platform to, to take advantage of all of those uh, uh, users or the changes in the workflows. Um, so I think that's important, and, and many many questions are around that. Um, another another question that we get to is is uh, revolves around cloud. Um, so our, our cloud solution and, and, and just users being um, interested in, you know, can we use the cloud? How do we use it? Uh, is it efficient? And, and what are some types and or what are some times that we can use uh, or should use the cloud? And oftentimes um, our, our platform is, is very flexible, right? So so our users can run on the cloud at, at any time. We, we point the same or that same web portal is used to run on the cloud. And, and it's great for short term use cases. Uh, maybe you have a project that uh, you're looking to solve and, and you need to, uh, you know, you could utilize the, the super base licensing and, and run hundreds of cores on the cloud uh, and that you didn't have, uh, that if you don't have access to that capacity on premise, um, so you can meet those those individual deadlines. Um, so we also help with help with that and, and can spin up a, a cloud platform um, very quickly that, that looks and acts the same as your on premise solution. Um, so really, we we provide that single pane of glass and, and turnkey solutions for both. Yeah. So the other the other questions that come up on on cloud uh, versus on premise is is which one to choose. 
Um, many times that's based on your utilization. Uh, so if you're utilizing the cluster, like I said, for short-term uh, use cases or, or for peak, uh, peak hours, the cloud is a perfect solution for that. Um, but for uh, similar to what Asuzu showed, right, you have your, your day-to-day -day, uh, engineering that, that's done. Um, we, we typically will build for the day-to-days uh, and um, uh, or, or spec the cluster for, to, to have uh, your users use the day-to-day um, on-premise and then, and then burst the cloud as needed. So I have one question. Can, can jobs be submitted in batch using a script, or is it always necessary to go through the web portal interface? And it says, uh, for example, in the case of optimization when cases are generated automatically. Uh, so the short answer is, is uh, yeah, you, can, uh, you can use both, right? So, so you can use the web portal or, or, the, or you, we provide command, uh, command line access for you to submit the, submit the jobs uh, through T-submit. Uh, so we, we very much, we don't lock anybody into using our portal or strictly using the command line. We understand that, uh, um, you know, there are certain users that really like just using a GUI and, and their main goal is, I just need to get my jobs completed. I don't really care about using the command line. Uh, and then there's other power users that, that say, you know, I need to use the command line, that, you know, the GUI uh, to, to add, um, you know, different settings, et cetera. And, and the command line is, is always available for, for them, for DOEs, things like that. So I think I have uh, one more question here. And it's, uh, does Total C use bare metal or VMs? Um, so we, we have multiple cloud platform uh, providers. So, so our platform hooks into um, all, the major, all the major providers. Uh, On-premise is bare metal. Uh, so the actual, uh, uh, you know, the Suzu in this case, they, they bought the cluster, it's theirs. They can use it and, and have it uh, for as long as they, they want. Uh, but for uh, the public cloud, yeah, we, we provide um, uh, multiple uh, avenues for, for you to run on, on the cloud. Okay. That sounds good. Again, thank you guys for joining us. Um, and again, as Antonio said, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you guys for joining us today.